For my research paper, I need at least two primary and five secondary sources. I've confused the two before, so now I've come to the UVic libraries for more help. Primary sources are created at the time of an event or by a person who directly experienced an event. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The content is what defines a primary source, not the format, so a news article from 1897 is still a primary source even if you're viewing it as a file that was digitized a hundred years after the fact. Primary sources can include everything from interviews and diaries to witness statements and government documents. Original research and experiments are important primary sources for many disciplines, especially the sciences. The footage of the moon landing used in this video is a primary source, as are photos, radio transmissions, and interviews with Buzz, Mike, and Neil. Documentary films are usually secondary sources. Even buildings, furniture, and clothing can be primary sources. Art, photographs, and artifacts are all original work, and therefore primary. Secondary sources are one step removed from the original event or experience and provide criticism or interpretation on a primary source. Secondary sources can include textbooks, review articles, critical analysis essays, and biographies. Most subject guides have a specific tab for finding primary sources, so look through your subject guide, speak with a librarian, and check the bibliography of any secondary sources you have, because high-quality scholarly sources often cite primary sources. Now that you know all this, even the sky isn't the limit.